This is the daily video update for Tuesday, March 16th, 2021 for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. This week, we're continuing our series of looking at our Congregational Covenant of Right Relations. As we talk this month about commitment, we're using these updates as a time to revisit and re-look re at the commitments that this congregation made to each other. This Congregational Covenant of Right Relations was passed by the congregation in May of 2017. It is the aspirations of, of the whole community with how we'll be together and act while we're in community. That's really important right now as we mark a year of the coronavirus pandemic. And it's important going forward as we think about what the coming year will be as we transition away from this year that we've had and into a year where we'll be returning to our building. So over last week and again this week, uh, we're unpacking the, um, excuse me, the statements of intent that are part of the covenant of right relations. These are seven or eight areas of particular focus that the framers of the covenant four years ago drew out as particularly important. And the one that we're going to talk about today is stewardship. And the covenant says this, whether through time, talent, or treasure, or more than one of these, each of us contributes to the common good as our personal circumstances allow. This means together we will strive to provide for pay and benefits consistent with UUA guidelines, care for the church grounds and facilities as we take care of other things we value, support professional membership and development for staff, minister, and lay leaders, recognize our responsibility to support child care and instruction for children and youth, give a positive response when the board and others call for help, and remain committed to the church community as fully as possible even in times of difficulty, acknowledging that together we are stronger and heal more fully. It's March 16th. One year ago today, we closed the church building. So I'm just going to read this last one again. Remain committed to the church community as fully as possible, even in times of difficulty, acknowledging that together we are stronger and heal more fully. I think many of us have heard the truth in that statement in the last year. But even in this time of difficulty, we are stronger together. In a time of pandemic and disconnection, social distancing, it can be of critical importance to just log on on Sunday morning or on Thursday night and see the community gathered, see the community committed to each other. And I, I know there are members of our congregation for whom this electronic way of being together does not feed their souls in the same way. If by some miracle, one of those people is watching the daily update that I'm doing today, I, I see you. I know this has been really hard. And part of this commitment is to remain committed to the church community as fully as possible. And I know it hasn't always felt possible this year. But the reason the church community exists is not the actions of any one person. It's not the actions of any staff member. It's not the actions of the minister. It's not the actions of any the board. It's the actions of the community as a whole, saying this place is important and we support it. And we're going to do that through our time, through our commitment, through showing up, and through our financial support. This has been a hard financial year. That's, that's the truth. If you look in your newsletter, you'll see that we had a tough financial year this year. And we're, we may have a tough financial year in 2021, and that may result in some decisions that we have to make. But... What I don't doubt is that this is a congregation that's committed to each other and the institution. That's the core of stewardship. 
is saying the institution is important. The institution has survived and will survive even hard moments, hard years like this one. That is a good thing to know about ourselves. See you tomorrow.